Today is checkout day here in Belo Horizonte. I was here for a month, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the Airbnb that I am in now. I'm gonna talk about the neighborhood, some pros and cons, etc. So let's get into it. You know what, the first thing that I have to mention is I hate this couch. I mean that. I've never hated a couch before. I'm not gonna get into it. It's just really uncomfortable in various different facets. In fact, I turned it around when I was here. It was like a little baby's crib. Luckily, that's kind of the only negative. This place is pretty cool. So it's on the small side, but all places are on the small side. It has a super cool pool. That was kind of the reason why I booked it. Um, and there, you know, it had this building also has a younger crowd. So I actually met a few people just living in this building. There is a gym on the 23rd floor, the top floor. It's pretty shitty though. There's also like a lap pool and a sauna. You have to reserve it, um, and, but you don't have to reserve the pool outside. And you can also, from this apartment, which is 804, it's on Airbnb. I forget the price, but I'll put it in the description. You can actually see the pool from here, which is cool. You can see if there's anybody down there or if you get it to yourself. So it's well designed. There was some thoughtful design going on here. This is where I worked. The chairs were comfortable. They had enough of that back arch so was, you could sit there all day and work. The TV is a smart TV. There's no separator from the living room to the bedroom. That is a bed, but I can imagine it is extraordinarily uncomfortable, just like the couches. The bedroom is, uh, <clears throat> they've got a nice little lamp there and you can turn on and off the light up here from there, which I think is really cool for bedtime readers. That's a big thing. There's two ACs, one here and one there. You got hangers, you got the, you got the safe, you have extra towels, extra blankets, extra pillows. Apparently, so, this opens up all the way, almost all the way. Apparently this is a bigger bathroom than the other units. Uh, my, uh, someone was in here that lives in this place and they're like, oh, this is a giant bathroom. And I guess it is pretty, it is pretty big. Uh, the host does provide soap and shampoo. The soap smells like cough syrup. Disgusting, so bring your own soap. Other than that was good, hot water was good. You got the, you got the blow dryer, plenty of toilet paper. Everything is here is good. The visitor policy on the Airbnb, it said, um, it made it seem pretty strict. It said like, it was not very clear. It made it said like two visitors at a time or two visitors in total. I'm not really sure, but the visitor policy, there was none. I actually, the, the few visitors that I had over, I just walked in and no questions were asked. Apparently you can't use the common areas with the visitors, uh, but I did with one visitor and I went there with my Portuguese teacher every time and it was no issue. If you're coming here and looking for a Portuguese teacher, I have one that is very cheap at 60 uh, reais, uh, you know, per hour. So if you want that, leave me a comment and I'll put the, uh, I'll contact you with her number or I'll put it there probably publicly. There is laundry in this building, and I, I read a guest review that said it costs 10 reais, but I did laundry four times in a month, and they gave it to me for free, two, two little coins. It's on the second floor. Um, the neighborhood I'm in is in Savasi, and that's kind of the nice, you're, when, you know, when you go online, that's the neighborhood you're gonna say, you know, people are gonna say, stay in this neighborhood, it's a nice one. I will say though, also, a local that I met here brought me to a neighborhood called Belvedere, I think it's called, and it was like also super cool, and it was like pretty far. Um, but it was like it's pretty high end. I went at night, I went another time during the daytime and it's it's like kind of a hidden gem. I don't know, I might live there next time. I'm not sure how walkable it is, but it has a giant shopping mall there as well. And it has a gym, grocery store, etc. cetera. Uh, it was kind of more bougie. Like at night I went there and the girls, you could see they, they were dressed up nicer for sure. Whereas here it's super walkable. Everything is flat. 10 minutes from the Liberdaji Park, Praça de da Liberdaji, something like that. 10 minute walk, 12 minute walk. You got various gyms around here, various uh, coffee shops. The coffee shop scene here is actually pretty nice compared to other places I've been in Brazil. Yeah, so I think I should actually leave now. I'm like two hours late, I stayed here. I, I asked the host yesterday, uh, I said, hey, can I stay till 12? And they didn't respond to him. Like, I'm gonna stay till 12. They didn't respond, so I'm here until 12 and they, <laughs> no one's coming. So I'm like, I wonder if I could just stay here another day. There's no reservation to checking into this on the Airbnb calendar. So I was like, I'm pretty sure it's okay, but it's a hack for you guys coming here. Just book for a week and stay for three weeks. All right, I've done a couple other of these. I've done one in Madrid, Spain. I've done one in um, Dominican Republic. Be sure to check out my website and check out all the 90 cities I've lived at in the world. And if there's something you want me to make a video on or comment on based on that in the neighborhoods, the Airbnbs specifically, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to do so. Until next time, ciao.